What's up guys, welcome to today's class. So the plan today, I wanna do a little scissor over comb work though. I'm gonna show you guys scissor over comb technique, which will be a fun kind of segment for this video. I'm also going to show you guys a stationary guide on the top of the head and also a traveling guide. And I'm gonna do those two side by side so you guys can see the outcome of both. So what I wanna do is I wanna section her because I wanna section the top off and then I'm going to blow dry the sides and start working some scissor over comb and I'm gonna break down that technique. All right, so I'm gonna go around the head here in a U shape. I'm going to clip. These clips are nice because they just slide up under and don't disturb your section. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side here. All right, let's blow dry. So now we are going to work scissor over comb. So in order to scissor over comb, the key here is to have your scissor and be able to just move that one blade. To move just this one blade, all you have to do is lock in this with all of your fingers. So you've got your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. To really lock it in, I move it just a little bit over and that wedges this in so now I, it does not slip around. So really just work on that, get all, everything locked in and then shift it over to the side and then that will allow your hand to just move the thumb. Now you'll work on this until you get to the point where you have no issues, however you're holding this. So then you add your comb to it and now to do scissor over comb, you're here and the steady blade goes right across the bone of the comb here. You add it here. And now you can work up the head and just move that one blade up and down. So now add in the head and you can start scoop up the hair and just start working slowly up the head shape and cutting to your desired length. As I'm coming up with my comb like this, I'm working that blade along the scissor. That's cutting horizontally. And I need to determine my shape of what I want this haircut to be looking down at the overhead. So if I wanna round the head off, then I'm gonna start by moving up in this corner and cutting. So we would go like this up and then I would shift my feet. My feet would start moving in a circle around the head shape. It's so like that all the way around. If I wanted to have a balanced line that continued straight out and built up weight over here, I would start here, shoulders parallel to the head, and I would work straight up like this, and then straight up. So I just continue working through just like that until I run out of hair. So that gives me a balanced line horizontally. Then I would move to the back and I would do the same thing creating that balanced line horizontally. So it's up to you guys, whatever shape you want to create in the haircut is just determined by how you're either following the head shape or following a line. I'm gonna go with the round of the head because I don't want a heavy corner in this cut. Another thing that I like to do when I'm cutting scissor over comb is I have a guide that's a little bit of a secret. So when I hold the comb against the head, my finger will go somewhere on their head. So if it can't, if it's gonna hit them in the eye, then obviously I move it, but I'll go kind of behind it and my hand is holding the comb away from the head at the same spot. Because if I just try to hold it like this, I feel like it gets a little shifty in and out. So if I just place a little bit of a guideline along the head, I can get the same length as I go. So now we're going to go with either, well, we're gonna do both. I wanna show you guys the difference of if we did a traveling guide or we do a stationary guide. So on the, the right side, I'm going to do a traveling guide. And on the left side, I'm going to do a stationary guide. All of this is coming from the back crown. So the way that we travel, and this can go for any, any person on the planet's short haircut. What do you want to do with the top? Do you want some length and weight in the front or do you want it to have more of a seamless feel across? And this is how we're going to work. Section one, I'm going to cut. That will then become my guide. Then section two will be cut by bringing it halfway to section one and section one will come halfway to section two. Then we'll leave section one alone. Then we'll go section three, we'll come halfway back to section two. Section two will come halfway to section three and we'll cut it there. Then we drop section two off and we move on. So we're just gonna work through the head 
that entire way. But you can see that as I work across here, I'm not working on a flat surface. I'm working on a surface that looks like this. So if I continue my traveling guide and I wanna do a flat line across the top, what's gonna happen is as soon as I get to this point here, every step I take gets further and further away from the comb. This will be very long if I continue this line. So here's my flat line. This will be way longer than this piece here. The decision I have to make is, do I want that much length in the front? Or do I wanna take a little bit of that length out? The stationary guide is gonna be even more of an extreme of that line. Anytime you take an entire section of the head and pull it to one place, you're gonna have a pretty extreme outcome because you're still working on that round. So you're still having the head go down further, but now you're over directing it all the way to the back. So that line becomes instead of flat like the traveling guide, the line looks like this. And now you've got all the length because it's coming all the way back here. Okay, let's go to our traveling guide. We're going to be cutting it traveling across the head this way, but I also need to figure out which angle do I want to take it across? Do I want it to be like this with the round of the head? Do I want it to be more flat top-ish so that I get a weight line right here? Depending on the cut, but that's most of the time not what we're going for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift it and we're gonna work with the round of the head, 90 degrees on our vertical. So I go here, straight out, start to cut the line. Here, still working 90 degrees up the head like that. Now we go down. We're gonna comb this back to get control. And then I'm gonna push section one to meet in the middle. Still cutting at 90. Push section one to meet in the middle. Section three. Okay, so that is traveling guide. Stays pretty seamless. You can see through the top. Now we're gonna work stationary guide, which will come all the way back to that same point. We will cut it still with the round of the head. You can see the difference, right? Of how this is nice and soft and falls towards the front. And then you've got this, which is just a big bulky top, but still has some nice layering up here but just gives you that kind of Tom DeLong in the uh, early 2000s vibes. So now I'm gonna blow it dry real quick. And actually, I'm like kind of psyched on this cut. It looks pretty cool. And I'm going to put a little hot off the press uh, heat protectant and also nice little medium hold. And then I'm gonna round brush. We're gonna see if we can salvage the look of this style here. Oh, all right, we're getting somewhere. And I'm gonna go a little 25 texture, the tri-razor. So a little 25, takes out 25% of the hair. You can get this on freesaloneducation.com. I'll just lighten this up a little bit. And then I can go right here. And these are disconnected, right? Because we cut one side different than the other side. But all I need to do now, I can take that 25 texture, cut into it. Remove a little bit of weight from that fringe. This works on any length fringe. I'm gonna drop this down. It's gonna be the new, the new trend here. What do you guys think? I wanna do a little, kinda like how it's like forward. Pretty cool, right? I mean, this wasn't even supposed to be a real haircut, but I gotta be honest, I'm, I'd give this to somebody. What do you guys think? What I like about it, what I think is cool, is that it really made it so like, if I, let's say I brought all this over and cut it as a stationary guide, which is what I probably would have done in the past. If I would have done that, it gets super heavy everywhere. And it's also very heavy in this, this corner and I'd always have to go in and cut into it. So this technically, 
solves all those problems and I barely had to do anything to the end result. So this might be my new move on Pixie Cuts and we discovered it together today. Thank you guys so much, so much for tuning in here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I got new videos coming out all the time and also I'm live Monday through Friday. Uh, so just hit that notification bell and make sure, again, subscribe to the channel on Facebook, YouTube. But if you don't hit that notification bell, you won't know that I'm going live. So if you wanna get the alerts and join me, do that. Also, go to the patreon.com or just go to freesaloneducation.com freesaloneducation.com and find my Patreon link on there. Join my Patreon group, it's 10 bucks a month and you get to watch all the replays of every class I've ever done. Uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of new things coming up. So uh, stick with me guys, we're having fun here. Uh, thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys on the next video.